Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time, we got started on Chapter 4 and almost died in the process with 2 HP to spare. We got healed at some point. So, um, don't worry. Bushi, Jam and Jelly, Life Shroom, which is... Meh. I don't need the Spite Powder! I'm actually gonna... Heresy, I know. But, uh, we do kind of need to clear out our inventory a bit. And what else are we going to use these mistakes for? Defense Plus! This is one of the single best badges! What is a really good badge? You need five... You need five BP. But don't knock defense! Obviously, defense is what kind of keeps you alive more than your HP does. And, yeah, yeah, you know this is gonna come up. Hey, hey, hold up, hey, who's that? Just hear, heard a voice. There's no way that people could be here, seriously. That's just so unlikely. Huh? Was that you say? You've seen a chest like this before? Get out of here. No, 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 it's not like I'm one of those chests, I promise. Look at my eyes, tell me I'm lying. Well, no, I, I'm not... No, seriously. Just get me out of here and I'll... you'll see. Don't make me beg. What? Come on. I don't know how ridiculous you sound, right? <laughs> now I'm laughing in here. Liquid. I'm going to need this in a couple of seconds. You only think I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse. You. Well, I didn't... I did plan on doing something to you, but it was not my, much of... It was not so much a curse as a... Well... A really wonderful new ability that allows you to go to special places. He's not wrong. He isn't lying. He do be telling the truth. Doesn't that sound nice? Oh, come on, please. Just find the key and open the chest, okay? Oh, it's here somewhere. I can... I just can't go looking for it myself, because I'm in here. So pretty, pretty please. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> You're going to let me out. Oh, happy days. Wiley Fools. I can't, I can't do a good fools today. I, I can't do a good, good snatcher voice today. Which really is the reference. <laughs> this is the chapter of references. What do you? What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Now I'm gonna hit you with the king of curses, the cursiest curse ever. Fear my terrible power. You will know the pain of having. Your body rolled up! Be cursed! Oh, hey, now your curse, losers! Savor the suffering! When this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk! 
That's how awful it is! We suffer, amuse, your suffering amuses me! And so, I laugh! Now, show me your cursed plight so I can laugh all the more! This present hold R! R! And the road take the control stick! Repeatedly! Hold on, I need to take a water! Some other, or the carbonated bread that, it, that has sugar in it, because for the love of Garkias, who likes that well, done sweetened carbonated water? <laughs> Refreshing! <laughs> <laughs> Your pathetic misery fills me to the core! You must roll around like a silly tube of cardboard! Everybody loves cardboard tubes! Oh, how you must be laughed at! Now, do you understand the depths of your own agony? I, I don't get it. You blathering nincompoop! Press and hold R, then rotate the control stick! Dream of it! Misery fills me to the coin! You're rolling around like seeing into a kind boy! I think I'm getting deja vu! Please continue! Now yeah, do you understand the depths of your own agony? I, I understand. Wee! Breath me to return to normal! Don't forget, mush brain! I leave you to suffer, fools! <laughs> Merry action. <laughs> Fun fact, aside from getting into the lower down areas. I'm gonna... Aside from getting to the lower down areas. This is one of the faster ways of moving in the game when you don't have access to Baby Yoshi. Turning is a... Well, turning anywhere less than... Well, that isn't exactly forward and backwards uh, is a bit of a challenge and you cannot platform. But, this is actually a pretty fast way of moving. If it weren't for the startup time. Also, if you're wondering why I'm backtracking very quickly, uh... We got a gem and jelly! The best FP healing in the game! I'm throwing that immediately into storage! Unfortunately, we do not have access to storage immediately. So, I'm gonna be right back and see you back in Twilight Town. Actually, might as well show running a... Might as well show running away. At least one. You max A. If you get full, you run away easily. But you drop coins. Take note, future games. That there actually be a punishment for ru for running away. Okay, now I'll see you in a bit. I keep being wrong. Not even close. Yep, still rigged. Hey, but it's a free mushroom. Okay, didn't take that long. I've also uh, sold the two powders because I'm never gonna use it. And oh, I was thinking about saying at the end, Segvator is an end right here. It also means we have to deal with those Goombas again. Which I'll probably cut out unless something... ...dramatic happens.
Oh yeah, staying at the end will also fully res on like healing blocks or the um 90% of the beds in the glitch pack. Uh it will heal you to heal everything. Brilliant. An email. Now Express ran late first time in ten years. I suspicious that you did. Hmm. Well, ain't that interesting. Hot dog Sam! Who needs sales stalls? <laughs> Cooking recipes! Hey, this can be useful. Here's a regular flex your bendy straws because today's recipe for fruit, fresh juice. Just blend. We don't even know about this! It's like the first thing, one of the first things you'll cook. Ah. Mail. Goombas. Because it always has to be Goombas. Earth Drummer! Alright, it's just one dude left. I might as well continue. The little, little cut leaves out to save fractions of seconds, but those fractions of seconds happen will save time in the long run. Damn you, Gam. I can't believe that worked. Well, this guy's going to die. A very... I was going to say very painful death, but apparently not. This guy is, however. Or going to... Mm, this is potentially bad. It doesn't matter what HP you have. If you get hit by all of that, you're dead. And I don't... Like... It doesn't matter how much HP you have. If you get hit by two, seven damages during attacks, you're... You're very dead. Unless you have, like, 14 HP. But even then, you're gonna be... Well, I guess 15 HP. Even then, you're gonna be put in danger. So, um, would not recommend, would, would not recommend. I also like how we have Flurry's, uh, one of Flurry's upgrades, but we just haven't used it because Aside from the Issa killing, it's not a very good party member. Even then, the Issa kill is pretty low chance. It's not quite... Uh... Hama against a light-resistant target and... Oh... Oh... Oh, dear... Dear Lord. No. Okay, so, you know how in the last episode I was talking about enemies that can pretend to be very, very dangerous? Ah, these are not it. But, they are a contributing factor. As in, say hello to the crazy daisies. They're pretty normal, they have an annoying ass sleep move, but, yeah. Nothing that you can't handle. However, we're unlikely to see it because it's a pretty damn rare chance. 
go. And you fight with a crazy Daisy. We'll have a chance for an amazing Daisy to spawn. Again, I'm talking about it now because we're unlikely to see it. And those are terrifying. They are the single strongest, some of the single, single not strongest non-boss enemy in the game with 20 attack and 50 HP, aka the highest standard enemy for any standard enemy in the entire game by miles. Ah, do you mind that if what? Well, not even end game bosses and super bosses have 20 attack. So that's terrifying. They love to run away, which is the only good thing. If you don't have. If you have fun. If you don't have. At least three points into HP. You will die. It's not a question of if, but it's a question of. Well, it is a question of if because they tend to run away, but they are absolutely terrifying. But, and the. Exceptionally rare chance you manage to kill one. Because they also have very low caps for a uh, power bound, so you can't just blitz them down that way. Unless you have like extremely high attack to begin with. Oops. So, unless you use that. So, they have pretty little damn low caps, like a boss level caps, as in, you only get a few jumps at most. So you can't put some down that way. But if you do manage to do it, they give the single highest amount of experience in the entire game. The only thing in at least one that gets higher is the triple is the triple anti-guy fight from the end of the game in 64. And that is why they consider it to be the hardest fight in the game. It's the triple anti-guys. Do not mess around with crate with my recommendation is to run like a coward. Pull a trick out of the Maisie Daisy book and run like a coward if you don't want a game over. Or have height, or just be lucky. Anyways, class. Still as weak as ever. But yeah, do not underestimate. If you, if you see a golden daisy, run the other way. Being amazing. He's amazing. Oh! So that's one of the timing windows, just before the ground pound. Noted. Level up! As much as, as much as I want to pee. Be pee. Because there are stuff I want to equip. Like that new bed we got! Pretty bad early game. Pretty bad. But! This allows us to attack flying enemies that happen to be spiked. Very handy. Yeah, I am also equipped, but pretty lucky and...
yeah. Or I can not, because you do get, you. they do stack, but they don't stack very well. A uh, close call and any dodging moves. There are, it is diminishing returns. Though, the stacking only applies when, uh, when, when you, uh, do, um, the stacking only takes place when the effect would, other, would activate. So, close calls stack only when, that's an evade stack, once you have... I paid stacks once you buffs once you have the conditions met to make them stack. Oh, we actually had to do this. I just saw like a patch of miscolored ground, like, hmm. But now that we were actually supposed to do that. Wait, hammer! See ya. That can happen sometimes. Don't remember what that does. Does... Does Gulp scale with the enemy's defense? Rappel cave! Good. Well, that's just kind of mediocre. I see that back there. How do we get back there? Hmm. Not through here, obviously. If there is a thing back there that I want to grab. Or it's. Or I'm bad at depth perception. That's always a possibility. <laughs> Creepy steeple. Yeah, this is... Creepy steeple. That nasty monster's place. The place wigs me out. The Gonzales. Like, let's just get the crystal star and get out here fast. Oh, I wish I could. If it weren't for the second half of this chapter, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get there. This would be one of the shortest chapters in the game. I am not joking. We're almost at the... Out of area-wise, we're almost at the end of this place. These enemies right here is why I want Hammer Throw, or at least a variation, because Buzzy Beetles tend, will have variations where they are... where they are spiked and flying. They're also immune to fire, in case that is something you wanted to try. So don't use Fire Drive. If that is indeed how that works. Also, we're going a weird route, if you couldn't tell. Uh, there is a bit of a reason for that. 
mainly because I want to explore and see what happens if you do things out of order, quote unquote. Because I haven't seen many playthroughs do that. Do things out of order. Or, I guess I don't watch many playthroughs of Thousand Year Door. Uh, Power Shell! But it's also a decent place to get a lot of experience. A pretty decent amount of experience. For these enemies, you either want um, piercing blows or quick hammer. I use piercing blows because it's cheaper. Fuck you, game. You can also use charge and um, strike or uh, super spin. Super guard. There's gonna be a lot of coin on the floor by the time we're done here. So, uh, I'll see you at the other side of this enemy gauntlet. Okay, we're pretty much out of the woods now. I mean, I get as much points as I thought we would. Oh, well... Nothing a little bit of... RNG can't fix. Also, we have enough for Wario Emblem, which we'll be getting as soon as we can. Tornado Jump! Extremely superb to damage midair enemies. I think all it does is deal more damage to midair enemies. When used an attack which can deal damage to all midair enemies if executed superbly wearing camera. It's another all target. Also, no, we cannot go that way. Continue to go that way. We don't have an ability to face through solid matter yet. Yeah, I'm just really glad that we don't have abilities that face through solid matter, and also I sh Whatever, I'm ending the video. I'm ending the video! Till next time!